Y'all hear that? That's the silence of the woods. Well, I hear a distant rumbling from the highway, but that's the only sounds, maybe other than a screech owl or a pack of howling coyotes, that sort of thing that I'm gonna hear over the next couple or three days. I don't know. No, Kansas hasn't kicked me out of the house, but this is the time of year when the weather gets just right that I love to do a little camping. So that's where I am. We're going to do a little camping. Y'all come along and join me. We had a good rain yesterday, thank the Lord. And uh, today it's a little breezy, but the weather has cooled off. I'm going to try to put up a hammock. I've had this hammock, I don't know how many years, and I've never taken it out of the deal here. I think my son may have a time or two, but uh, I don't even know, obviously, what I'm doing here. Okay, there's one end of it, I think. There's another end of it. Aha! Uh -huh. See what else we have here. These are banyan hammock straps, complete with instructions. Insert the untied end of the banyan rope into the tree friendly sleeve. Okay, let's see if I can figure this out. Oh, I think so. Tree friendly hammock sleeve. And there you go. I guess that's it. Hmm. Let's see if we can get in it now without flipping. Oh boy, We're about to test the carabiners here. Oh man, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. Huh. I'll be hanging out here over the next couple of days. Awesome. No camp out is complete without beef. I got a couple of ribeyes and a filet <laughs> marinating. Roughing it, baby. Getting us a little fire going here. Yeah, I cheated. I brought some old CD boxes from home. I'm gonna save these for tonight because when you get a little cool, you can throw one of those on the fire and have some instant radiant heat. And I'm just walking around out here, finding little branches, small limbs. And that's how you start the fire. And then you go bigger. Once it really gets rolling. We're going to do some cooking here later on. I don't know if we'll, uh, we might cook the ch steaks on charcoal. I may just put some charcoal in this. If we get a good hot base. That might not be a bad idea. Either way, you can't go wrong. This wood's kind of damp. But it'll burn eventually. So now we'll take us some bigger pieces and add to this. Just like that. I 
I'll let that do it for a while. Something really neat. I found this at uh, Midway USA. This used to be like a shooter supply company, but now they have just about everything. But it is a, it's a Browning, and I'm not sponsored by any of this. I'm not sponsored by anybody yet, yet. But this is a sleeping bag that's rated to like negative 20 below. It's a mummy bag. And uh, wow, talk about a thick, warm bag. I don't know, y'all. I may just, I may just sleep out here tonight. That'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Maybe. I'll definitely be doing some hanging out right there. Make it up and do a little squirrel hunting in the morning. We'll see. I may sleep till nine o'clock. That's the beauty of camping. You can do what you want to. But if I do, I don't believe there's ever been a better squirrel getter produced than this little Ruger 1022s. Of course, if I have my pants on, I usually have that on me. That's a little Springfield XDS, nine millimeter, eight shots in a single stack compact nine millimeter package. Love that little weapon. I'm not scared of animals. I'm not scared of anything out here in these woods. Uh, yeah, I mean, there have been crazy stories of coyotes attacking people. They were rabbit or something crazy like that. But just generally speaking, you don't have to worry about anything nuts like that. What I'm scared of are two-legged animals. That's a pretty good campfire. Hey, I was a Boy Scout. So what I've decided to do is just cook directly over the coals here. I've added some charcoal just to give it a little bit more flavoring. I'm going to let that charcoal get lit. And I'm going to lay a grill across those two logs. We will be ready to grill some meat. First thing to go on the grill, onions. Grilled onions. If you've never grilled onions, try it. All right, guys and gals, time for the magic. We got two ribeyes and a fillet. These have been marinating about all day in Dale's Dale's steak sauce and marinade.
Look at that fillet. Ooh, mercy. Drizzle that on there. Little seeds, soul seasoning. This is nothing but mostly salt and garlic, onion powder. Yeah, let's get a liberal sprinkling on each side. Mm-hmm. It's nice and hot fire. Now we wait. Oh my, one turn and look at there. Hmm. Finished product. Hmm, now let's dig in. I want to thank for this food, blessing nourishment for my body and my body to thy service. I want to thank for all the blessings of life, be my family, keep us all safe, bring us home safe together. Lord, and may we all live eternally in heaven with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh, man. I wanted to get out here and show you all the finished results. These ribeyes are perfect. Flipped one time. They're a good medium. A little bit doneer than I like. The filet looks like it's going to be perfect. That's about a good medium rare to rare. Mmm. Oh, my stars. Mmm. Gosh, I taste the charcoal, but also that hickory. I'm about to get in here and eat. Also have some Seminole Indian Spam and tomatoes heating up on the fire. That's a pan full. I have a video for this recipe. Anybody who'd be interested traditionally served over rice of which I have none but it is delicious just like it is kind of a, like a tomato soup on a good cool night with a little spam and onions it's good stuff Well, guys and gals, that's going to about do it for me out here uh, today. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay out here, but these cameras do really poor in in low light, so I don't know how much footage I'll get the rest of this evening. We might get a little footage of the fire or something like that. But anyway, appreciate you going camping with me. Stay tuned. We'll be able to have something else on this video. I'll see you in the morning, if not before. Well, good morning, folks. Uh, I got so carried away with breakfast here that I almost forgot to tell y'all how. But it is morning. We, My dad came down last night. We had steaks and fixings. Slept in the, in the camper and then slept out here <laughs> this morning. And we have whipped up a feast of a, of a breakfast. Kind of a menagerie with our leftovers. Let's go in here and see Pop. Good morning, Pop. Good morning, son. How's it going? Just right. Slept like a baby. <laughs> Having a little meal here. A little, little snack. Yeah, I about got rid of I it, though. Over the T-bone. <laughs> grilled onions. Scrambled eggs. I got a little leftover steak. Scrambled eggs. Uh, weenie. <laughs> this is a good life. Well, camp is ready for the next night. We had a pecan tree blew down in a storm or a big limb off of it 
and uh, Pop and I just went and cut up some of that. We've got some good, good firewood. Waiting on me tonight. Good Lord willing. 